Hey boys and girls, I hope everybody's getting ready for Halloween, which is just a little ways away. And I'm going to read you a story about an otter who loves Halloween. And it's by Sam Garton. Halloween is the best holiday ever. Teddy and I have been waiting a very long time for Halloween. There were lots of things we had to get ready for. Here they are, they're getting ready for Halloween. First, Otter Keeper took us pumpkin shopping. But Otter Keeper is not very good at choosing pumpkins. Teddy and I found the right one eventually. It was very big, so we had to promise we'd help carry it back. So here we have Otter Keeper who's taking them to the pumpkin patch to find a pumpkin. And as you can see, it must be pretty heavy because he's really pulling there. When we got home, Otter Keeper ran into a few problems carving our pumpkin. I told Giraffe to help because Teddy and I had to start decorating the house. Here they are. They're all getting ready and decorating the house. Here, the, these guys are starting to decorate things for Halloween. I suppose a lot of you have been doing that also. We did decorate a few things we shouldn't have. But overall, we did a great job. Finally, I had to organize everyone's Halloween costumes. I dressed up as a super scary witch. I couldn't get my magical broom stick to work, but I looked like really scary, so that didn't really matter. So Otter is dressed up as a witch, and his bro magic for his broom didn't work, but he said, oh, that's okay. At least I'm dressed up for Halloween. Teddy decided to dress up as a scary mummy. We both agreed. He looked almost as scary as I did. Giraffe wanted to dress up for Halloween too, but I wasn't sure about his costume idea. Otter Keeper said, you can dress up as whatever you want for Halloween. So here we have Otter. He's dressed up as a witch. And here's Teddy. He's trying to be a mummy. So they're wrapping toilet paper and towel, towel, paper towels around him. And there's Giraffe. He's trying to decide what he wants to be for Halloween. So Giraffe was a fairy. He wasn't really taking Halloween seriously. Everyone knows fairies aren't scary. So I added some tea. So the Giraffe decided to be a, a fairy. But, you know, that's not really scary. So what they did... Otter said, I'm going to make some teeth for it to make it look scary. So if you look really close, see the teeth right there? And that's supposed to make it look really scary. We spent the rest of the afternoon practicing with our costumes by scaring Pig. Teddy and I were very good at this. So they're scaring Pig right now. Giraffe was not, but it was his fault for dressing as an unscary fairy. Finally, the doorbell rang. The trick-or-treaters were here at last. Ding dong! It was then that we ran into a problem. So all day, they kept scaring the little pig, okay? But this here giraffe, he wasn't scaring the pig at all. So now it's time. The doorbell's ringing. And now they're getting ready to give the candy to the trick-or-treaters. The trick-or-treaters were very scary, almost too scary. I suddenly remembered I had lots of important things to do under the bed upstairs. I took Pig with me too. He was really scary. So when the trick-or-treaters came, they got scared. So where did they go? They ran upstairs and looked under the bed and hid under the bed. And he also took the Pig along because if you look at them, they look pretty scared right there. I was worried Halloween had been ruined, but then Otter Keeper had a little chat with us. We both felt a lot better. 
Then Otter Keeper had a clever idea. I was so allowed and I was so happy that he helped us. Ding dong! When the next trick-or-treaters arrived, we were ready for them. So Otter Keeper talked to them about what they could do in order to not be scared. So what they did is they made themselves kind of a scary mask. Let's see if that worked. Well, the pages which don't want to come apart. Well, pretty soon I'll get it apart. There we go. Oh my goodness. Our new costumes worked perfectly. These trick-or-treaters sounded even scarier than the ones before. But things are very much less scary when you can't really see them. Ding dong! Ding dong! Ding dong! This was definitely the best Halloween ever. So look what they did. They made costumes where they couldn't see. So when the trick-or-treaters came, they weren't scared because they couldn't even see them. So here they are having a great old time now. Until the trick-or-treaters stopped coming, Otter Keeper told me they had all gone home because it was almost bedtime. But I wasn't tired at all. So after all that excitement, Otter was not tired. So he did something. So I made special costumes for everyone. It's a good thing we finished when we did. Look, he's making costumes for the flower pot, his robot, his play telephone. And he's also making one for, um, I think this is supposed to be like a caterpillar of some kind. So he's making costumes for everyone because he's not even tired. Well, let's see what happens next, though. It was very well past Pig's bedtime, but look what happened. He did all these things with these costumes, and now Pig isn't tired, but Otter's busy sleeping. He's exhausted after going out and making all them costumes. Well, we're going to do an activity with that, because usually when you go trick-or-treating, you get candy, right? Okay, so what we're going to do is make some candy corn, all right? So, what you will get, have to have is a paper plate. The whole paper plate, okay? And then what you're going to do is you're going to take either you can use um, paint or you can use crayons or markers. And you go around the outside of the plate and make it orange. Then you go the next circle in the inside of it is going to be yellow. And then you're going to leave part of it not painted at all on your paper plate. Okay, so that would be the colors of candy corn. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take a scissors and cut it into like a piece of pie. You know how a piece of pie looks like a triangle. So you're going to cut it into pieces like this. And then that looks like candy corn. Okay, everybody understand how to do that? I hope so, because... That makes a neat little um, art thing to do for this story. Well, I hope everyone enjoyed the story, and I hope you have a great Halloween. Be safe and enjoy yourself. See you next time. Bye.